All right, so I'm sitting here. I'm trying to mind my own business. I'm trying to learn about the golden ratio. I am. I'm watching a documentary about why is 1.618034 so important right now. It's pretty interesting stuff. When out of nowhere, my Twitter follower, Texas Copperhead, sends me a message. Donut, have you seen this video right here? I said, Texas, I'm trying to watch this video on the golden ratio. And then I'm going to watch House of Cards Season 5 because it's out now, by the way. I've been meaning to do a video on traffic stops and the importance of traffic stops. How they're absolutely necessary in today's world. But Mr. Texas Copperhead sent me this video and uh, I wanted to go ahead and address all of these issues tonight. This video that we're going to talk about comes from a smaller Facebook page, about 9,000 followers, but their video has over 2 million views right now. The page I'm speaking of is called Up and Up News, and if there's anything controversial with a black person in it, they're going to be sharing it. The video comes with the caption, hashtag Dallas, Jordan Edwards, killer bond, $300,000, Quincy Blakely arrested for a broken taillight, half a million, hashtag color people justice, hashtag stay on the up and up. First off, I just want to say that I will bet my middle nut that Quincy Blakely did not get a half a million dollar bond for a broken taillight. Something I need to point out before the video starts, since we're talking about traffic stops, and the importance of traffic stops and knowing your rights during a traffic stop, is that traffic fatalities are higher than gun fatalities. More people are killed by cars every year than guns. This is why traffic stops are incredibly important. Aside from all the deaths that are caused by irresponsible drivers every year, I just wanted to go ahead and point out a few more facts when it comes to traffic stops. One of the most prolific American serial killers of all time, Ted Bundy, killed over 30 women, kept some, some of their heads in his freezer. He was called on a traffic stop. Officer noticed he was acting suspiciously and pulled him over. Domestic terrorist Timothy McVeigh, who killed 170 people, was called on a traffic stop. A state trooper noticed that he didn't have tags on his car, so he was pulled over. State trooper noticed he had a bulge in his jacket, searched him, found a gun. He didn't have a permit for the state that he was in. He was arrested, and then they found out he had killed 170 people. Traffic stops are important for protecting you and your family from drivers who suck. The government's not impeding on your rights to travel. The government's not impeding on your rights at all for pulling you over for traffic violations. You guys know I say this a lot. There's always one kid that's going to ruin it for the whole class, and if there weren't assholes that drive like assholes then we wouldn't need traffic laws. We wouldn't need traffic officers. We wouldn't need highway patrol. But unfortunately, there are people who can't drive or they drive like shit on purpose. Let's get on with our video. I'm Debbie Smith with Dallas County Sheriff's Department. The reason I'm pulling you over is because your license plate light is out. Do you have your driver's license? No. Be sure to give him your, um, your, um, CHA. You have the weapon in your vehicle? Is that a yes? Correct. Yeah, man. This is why I gave it to where, you. Where? That's why I gave it to you. Why you gotta be a dick, dude? It's a simple traffic stop. Where's the, the weapon at? Wait, wait. Alright, weapon's on his hip. Ever step out here with me. I, I haven't committed any crimes. Man. I'm asking you to do that while you got a weapon on you. But you have the CHL, so he's authorized I'm to carry and conceal. You don't have to raise your on. voice, but you don't have to I'm raise your voice. Because I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to him. Well, I already answered you, man. I haven't committed I'm any crimes. I'm asking crime. you to step out of the vehicle while why? you have a weapon on you. I can take the weapon off of you. my safety and your safety. I gave you that for your safety. I understand why you gave me this. You're required by law to give me this. It's not for my safety. So, officer is asking him to step to the rear of the vehicle. For some reason, the woman's still talking. She has nothing to do with this situation. He's the one that has the gun on his hip. According to Pennsylvania versus Mims, which is case law, the Supreme Court says that you do have to step out of your car if an officer asks you to. The officer knows that he has a gun on him, so he just wants to step him out of the car for his safety. Dude replies, I haven't committed a crime. That's not the point. The point is the Supreme Court says that you have to step out of your car. I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle for my safety. And then what? After I step out, then what? You're going to stand back here until I'm finished. Until you finish doing what? Checking my light? Um, before I, well, I check your license, while I write my well, citation. Well, just check the license. I'm check the gonna, license. I'm not going to. I, I got a two-year-old son back here. Okay. It's for his safety. I'm going to stay right here. No, sir. You're going to step to the back of the vehicle. I haven't done anything that requires me to step out of this car. Man. All right. He says, I haven't done anything that requires me to step out of this car. You're a United States citizen. Therefore, you have to follow the laws of the United States. And Pennsylvania 
versus Mims says that you have to step out of your vehicle. Okay. You're gonna check my my license. That's all you need and to you're do gonna right step now. Back to the back while I do it. Hey, can y'all get in the car and come up here to? We are at um. We are across from Zoe's, um, Zoe's kitchen. Can you get the light on my face? We are at, across from Zoe's kitchen. The um. All right. So the female half sitting in the passenger seat is now calling people to come up there. So the officer calls his own backup. The officer doesn't know if she's calling people to come ambush him or if she's just calling relatives. So naturally, he's going to call his own backup. The uh, Dallas County um, sheriff pulled us over because they said uh, the uh, the light bulb. Can you, can you, we're right across from Zoe's kitchen, right up the street. Um, the police officers bring, bring, bring up everything with you and come up here. We're at the, I can't see my glasses. Right at the tunnel. Right before you so she's telling someone on the phone, come up here where the police officer is and bring everything with you. We're right at the tunnel before you get on the tunnel across from uh, uh, Zoe's kitchen. Can you hear up and come up here and call, uh, Arsh McCall, please. They pulled us over for, for, uh, saying our license plate out is out. <laughs> Hello? Saying, saying that, I don't know what's wrong with your phone. But they saying that we need, that he needs to get out the car. You know, he haven't even checked the license. And the random insurance, no nothing. Just saying he need to get out the car and go to the back. And that's what we're not going to do. We don't. She says, that's what we're not going to do. I bet she's about to say we don't have to do that. Have to do it. So can you come on? All right. So she's saying we don't have to do that. Again, Pennsylvania versus Mims. Just, if I can just look it up. Come on up here, please. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you. Tell him I got a CHL. Say that. You gotta say he have a CHL. You you do have to say that. Don't get out. We'll wait for your backup, bro. Ain't nobody gonna argue with you. All right, dude says go ahead and wait for your backup, bro. I'm not gonna argue with you. The woman says he ain't have to do that, and then the dude rolls up the window on the police officer. By the way, I just want to point this out that asking him to step out of his vehicle is a lawful order. He's done it several times, and he has every right to snatch him out of his car right there. I also want to point out the fact that if he would have just gotten out of his car, gotten a little pat down, the officer might have taken his weapon and kept it in his car during the traffic stop. He may have ended up with a warning, maybe a citation. You you definitely have to say that. Don't act like somebody just pulled a weapon. Her call, call, um... Oh, man. Let your, just let your window back name. Pull me over is one thing. But stepping out and arresting me, I need to have a warrant or have committed a crime. That's not true. Pennsylvania versus Mims. Just remember that. Remember that, everyone. Pennsylvania versus Mims. Also, I don't think you should be listening to your girl, dude. She's going to get you in trouble. Not at all. Are you going to say someone like I asked? Let, let. Let, right. let, what they say? You're not saying it, nobody. I need you to step out of the vehicle now. For, for what reason? Skip, let why, the why am I stepping out? I've already told you why you But why? But you I haven't committed no crimes, man. Step out of the vehicle. What, what crime? Sit back, sit back. Sit back. Sit, sit back. And sit back. What? I don't care what it says. I'm asking Can you, you sit back? Vehicle. That's what I'm asking you to do. For, well, did he commit a crime? Yes, the crime is doesn't matter. Uh -huh. a license plate light. That's the crime. That's, that's not a, a that's not a it's a violation, it's, it's not a crime. crime. It's a ticket. Can you can you what? It's a crime. It's not even a misdemeanor. Let me see. Let me see the phone. Step... <laughs> it's not a violation. It is a violation. It's not a crime. It is a crime. It's not a misdemeanor. It actually is a misdemeanor. And I'm not finna play that, man. My son back here. Get out of the vehicle. Hello? No, don't hey, let. Yes, the hold boss, on. No, don't let. Hold, hold the on. Stop, stop. Window up on. Let it Hello. Bro, please don't. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Just stop. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Back up! Back up! Whoa, whoa! Back up! Let me step up, bro. Wait, 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 wait! Okay. You better calm down. You better, calm down. You better calm down. Step out the vehicle. Come on, step out the vehicle. Wait. Wait, wait, hold Put on. the phone down that's fixing the brake. Step out the vehicle. I'm asking you nicely. Okay. Step out of the vehicle. Let me move myself. Let's go. Come on. You, Step you out wait. the vehicle. I, I, can Come you get on. the hands out? Let me move myself. I'll make sure you don't plant nothing in my truck. Okay. You can do that from right over there. The biggest issue I see in the video is the driver's loud mouth wife. Thank you.
Sean says, I've been stopped a few times and I immediately hand the officer my driver's license, CHL, and insurance. Never once have I been asked to get out of my vehicle or even given a citation. Congratulations, Sean. One, the police have no right to ask the driver to step out of the vehicle for his safety. God damn, Pennsylvania versus Mims, Sean. The cop is wrong to put his hands in the man's car and force him out when there was no threat. Ah, uh, Pennsylvania versus Mims. You guys are going to remember this case law. <laughs> I like Kevin. Bruh, just hop out of the car. There we go. Pennsylvania versus Mims. Pennsylvania versus Mims. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you guys something I found on the Dallas, Texas jail lookup website. Now, Up and Up News says that the man in the video's name is Quincy Blakely. I happen to find a Quincy Blakely on this website. It says that he was booked on 5-4-2017. Uh, for assault against a public servant. And there's a bond forfeiture, which usually means someone didn't show up for court. That kind of looks like Quincy. I'm not going to say it's 100% the guy in the video, but this is a Quincy Blakely in Dallas, Texas, who was arrested on 5-4-2017 for assaulting a public servant. Again, I'm not 100% sure. Everyone, this is Donut. I hope you have a fantastic Thursday. Pennsylvania versus Mims. Have a great day. The trust of the people, and you're in violation. All right, I said trust. trust. All right, I I will not stand All right. before All right. this. Right. Turn off the camera. No, sir. Will not. Will not. No freedom of press. Closure. Freedom, closure. freedom of press. You have your I control. object, Your Honor. Take this I object. Into custody for I object. I, I, sir, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Pursue it. Pursue it. Put your hand in front of me. I object to this abuse. You're under arrest. I have anybody back. You need to stand down. I had your back. Stand down. Stand down. I'm giving you a lawful order right now to stand down. Taser, taser, taser.